joining me, Celeste, with Sharky Vision, and with me I've got Ian Berry here at his new... Oh, tell us about <laughs> it. I was like, I was going to do the introduction, but tell us about what we're here for tonight. Um, I think they're here because I think someone said there's free jeans given away, and um, oh, um, there's not. <laughs> there's actually pictures of jeans. Uh, well, not pictures of jeans, pictures out of jeans. Well, can you give us a quick synopsis for anyone who doesn't know your history and is a follower of your art already? Yeah, well, when I started out at uni, and I just had the idea of, I, I basically saw a pile of jeans, saw the textures, saw the shades, I thought, I'm not sending them out to a charity shop, I'm going to start cutting them up. Purely for fun, I was working in advertising eventually and doing it on the side. Saw people's reactions and I started feeding off that and realizing that I think the denim spoke to people. So it's a decade of like working on the craftsmanship, working on the skills, and here we are now. <laughs> I must say, a lot of your pieces are so intricately, just beautifully done, and you really wouldn't think it was denim in the slightest or something. The way my favourite is the one at the back where yeah. you've got the, the flooring and you get the light coming in from it like that. Have you got a favourite yourself? Um, I shouldn't say favourite. I definitely say this body of work is my favourite, but I mean, there's not one piece I would take out of the exhibition. Some are technically better, or some are like more meaningful to me. Okay. Um, like the one behind you is my wife. Yeah, sorry. <laughs> who, um, I mean, it's her sleeping alone because I work all the time. Um, yeah, I mean, there's there's all kinds of things. I mean, it's all uh, it's a lot of. I've been through a lot the last few years. So it is a little bit autobiographical. No, I can't say the word. Even after, it, that's the word. <laughs> Even though I'm not literally in them, like it's very much me as well. And like also getting closer to some people, realizing that everyone's got some kind of issues and not to snap at people or not to be nasty to people just because you think they're made or better than you. And yeah. you were living over in Sweden, was it? Yeah, I lived in Sweden for five years. Do you feel like since you came back to um, the UK, since living there, that's what kind of helped your shift in perspective when it comes to not, like, say, the opposite people, they don't have everything or they're not the happiest? Yeah, well, I mean, I was thinking, what, what is home? Like, I'm from Yorkshire, I lived in London before, Buckinghamshire. Then I've lived in Sydney, Amsterdam, Sweden. So I'm like all over the place and like you have friendships but then you lose the friendships so you still got them but you're not as close as people. You got family but you're all torn apart and like what, what is home? Coming back to London, trying to find property in this property market, it just showed that it's, it's a home, it's not a home, it's a, it's a house at the very least and it's an asset. Do you know what? I just want to thank you because I think your artwork is amazing and I thoroughly enjoyed coming here this evening. Thank you.